report from CBS 11 News. Found in a parking lot of the uh, 100 block of Burnett Street downtown uh, with significant injuries to his head. Officers responded immediately there, thereafter. They, were, they arrived at the scene within minutes, um, found the deputy. Uh, it, it was apparent that there was some significant injuries to him. Uh, they immediately notified emergency medical services to respond. Since then, the deputy has since been transported down to Harris Hospital. Um, he's still in the emergency room, still being treated um, as of the, the last notification that we received. Now, the investigation is still in the early stages. We're not going to comment on any of the specifics at this time because everything is, is very preliminary. I will answer a few questions, but I would like to defer those questions to Sheriff Wayborn. Okay. Sheriff. Thank you, Sergeant. I know it's been a long night, and always the early reports are often often wrong, uh, but unfortunately I, I am here to report to you that Sergeant Keith Humphreys, a 19-year veteran of the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office, has passed away at Harris Hospital at this time. His family is there, and uh, we're dealing with those things. Fort Worth will be the lead investigation agency on the uh, what happened out here tonight, and we're confident that it will unravel soon. And uh, we appreciate uh, your thoughts and prayers being with the family and with Tarrant County and the other agencies that are working through this. And I know it's late in the evening, and, but I appreciate you guys being here as well. And I'll take just a few questions. But... Well, ma'am, we're working a crime scene, and uh, we're trying to unravel it and see what is there and what, what it's going to lead to. I would like to say that I don't believe that any the neighborhood is in danger. I don't believe uh, uh, that right now, but what I do think is is that we've just got to follow the facts until we understand what happened. Sheriff, does it appear that this was an ambush attack? I, that would be pure speculation on my part, and uh, we're not going to rule out anything, but there is no, I've heard of no credible evidence that there's a danger to the greater Fort Worth area. Sheriff, can you tell us that the, the spot where you're focused on specifically, is that the sheriff's parking lot? It is the sheriff's parking lot, and uh, uh, sure, uh, Sergeant Shepard had gone to lunch and was coming back uh, to his duty assignment and did not show back up from that duty assignment. Are there cameras in that parking lot? Yes, ma'am, and we're reviewing everything that th that is there. Did the sheriff have his weapon on when he was attacked? I wouldn't want to speculate on whether he was armed at this time or not. Is there anything cameras have identified that can, uh, where the community may be able to help find the suspect? Well, I would say that if anybody was in the general area and they saw something to report it to uh, major, major crimes at Fort Worth PD or Tarrant County Sheriff's Office CID. Can you tell us more about the deputy? Well, I can tell you what I know about Keith, is that uh, he had a great reputation at Tarrant County Sheriff's Office. He was, uh, he was a strong leader. He was loved. He uh, was a great husband and a good father. Did you know him well? Pardon me? Did you know him well? I do not, did not know him well. I knew him on appearance and, you know, in passing and, and those kind of things. Can you say with certainty that there is a suspect and what's being done to track this person? I will tell you that, that there is no suspect defined at this point. And I, what I can tell you is is that, that Fort Worth's taking the lead on that criminal investigation and trying to, to unravel exactly what will happen on there. And everything is being reviewed, every angle that we can possibly do it. Obviously, you see there's a lot of people out here tonight wanting to make sure what happened. How large of a net is being cast here in this city tonight to figure out what exactly happened? Well, I would defer to Fort Worth for the exact amount, but you can see right here that there are several blocks cordoned off to make sure the integrity of the investigation is holding steady. Did he at any point fire his weapon? I, I, I don't know any of that at this point. Can you explain why you said that there's no information of the suspect right now? Well, he was found... Uh, in his vehicle uh, with blood outside the vehicle and inside the vehicle and uh, nobody knows what happened there and uh, the officers that found him immediately began to do emergency uh, medical procedures on him and got him to Harris where he passed. He was found in his personal vehicle or yes, his sir. deputy vehicle? His personal vehicle. Can you 
said that he was on a break? Yeah, he had gone to lunch and was coming back. But as of right now, does it look like someone shot him? I, I, that would be speculation outside of, of, of evidence that I've seen. We're just we're going to take it one piece at a time and, and see if we can find that. You said he didn't show back up for his assignment, so at what point was he supposed to be back to him? Well, that would have been around 7 or 7.30 that, that that would have been going on, I think, is, is what I've been briefed on. Was somebody looking for him when he was found? Or he was I, 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 his shift commander was, uh, was wanting to check on things, as I understand it figure some things out. Okay. Guys, I, I, I've got to go head back to the hospital. I've got to meet the family there. But I know there's lots of questions, and I don't have all the answers, but I appreciate you all being out here. And, and again, I don't think there's an immediate danger to the community. We've got a large area scoped off, and, and things are unraveling, and we're figuring it out. But thank you all. Thank you, thank you Shepard. Shepard. Okay. Here shortly, we'll start emailing additional information out. But like I said initially, this is uh, this is very early information. All this information is preliminary. It's all being reviewed. Um, we have our major case unit out here. I believe the homicide unit's here. As you look around, we have quite a few officers out here. So give us a little bit of time, and we'll start putting information out as we get it. As quickly as possible. It's the best answer I can give. All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yes, stand by. Hey, Ivan. So we have been listening uh, live here uh, this late hour, 1144 on this Friday night. That was the Tarrant County Sheriff, Sheriff uh, Bill Wayborn, confirming uh, information that was uh, trickling into the newsroom earlier tonight uh, that, in fact, a uh, sheriff's uh, deputy sergeant, Sergeant Keith Humphreys, a 19 year veteran, has in fact died tonight uh, as a result of uh, what appears to be uh, a gunshot is what we're being told uh, and it, he he did say that he was found inside of his personal car earlier tonight uh, we heard uh, the sheriff talk about uh, the deputy going uh, out to his lunch break and then uh, he sort of went missing no one knew where he was at and then he was later found uh, at his car there was blood inside the car and outside the car uh, right now we did also hear him say that there is uh, no threat uh, to the public right now. Uh, I believe we have, uh, do we have Andrea Lucia standing by live? Andrea, if you can hear me, uh, just, uh, yep, just talk I'm to here. me. Are you there, Andrea? Okay. I am here, yes. Andrea Lucia joining us uh, here on Facebook Live. Uh, Andrea, uh, bring us up to speed here with uh, some of the details uh, that were confirmed uh, from the sheriff here. What, what else are you hearing out there? Well, I, you know, this press conference is the first where we are getting some um, some details exactly on what happened until now. It has been quite vague. The sheriff's department up until now was only really telling us that an officer was injured. This is the first time that uh, we've learned that he uh, he was found in the parking lot, as you heard. He was in his personal vehicle. He was on break. He was supposed to return around 7 o'clock, I think he said, um, and uh, did not. And that's when, you know, his shift commander went out apparently trying to check on him and uh, and discovered him in his car um, there was uh, a little bit of graphic detail given on you know the, his condition but I can tell you there was significant injuries to his head is what they're saying um, the other the other big thing that they're saying is that right now they do not believe that there is a danger to the public for right. a while now we've had several streets here in downtown Fort Worth shut down they've been canvassing the area they've been looking for video trying to figure out exactly what happened um, but they are telling us that at this point there is no suspect and they do not believe believe that there is a danger to the public. They are trying to sort of unravel the clues um, to figure out what happened, but yeah. that is what we're being told. Yeah, and he, he did say, Andrea, that uh, there are certainly a lot of questions right now that they're, they're trying to figure out as well. Uh, Andrea, you tweeted something out uh, earlier. Uh, we know that the ATF is somehow uh, involved in this. Um, can you talk a little bit about that to whatever extent that you can offer details on that? Well, I, I initially had a source tell me that they were called in to assist, and since then I have actually seen them show up here on scene. Um, you know, they're wearing the vests that are clearly marked ATF. We've seen them here um, at the scene where all the activity is. I also heard that they were present at the hospital. Um, you know, I, I don't really want to speculate on what that means, but of course, um, you know, something significant is happening when you see federal investigators here. And of course, we saw them prior to the announcement that this sergeant 
uh, yeah. had passed. One of the things so that, that was an early indicator that this was this was something serious. Right, right, and and and, and we kind of got that sense, unfortunately, that sort of eerie sense earlier in the night, also when we were uh, first reporting uh, on this as breaking news. Andrea, the, the question was made uh, of whether this was the result of a, of an ambush shooting. Uh, is that a theory that, that you're hearing uh, out there? Is that something that um, people are talking about? So, again, that was, I, I did have a source tell me that that was something that was being discussed early on. The sheriff got up and he did say in the press conference that, you know, you need to be wary of some of the things that are being discussed early yeah. on because even the investigators here on scene are trying to figure out themselves what happened. So I do believe that was a theory early on. I don't know if that is still something that they are considering. It's certainly, when it was brought up in the press conference, the sheriff um, did not confirm it. Um, and I uh, didn't necessarily deny it either, but right, right. Um, he, he, uh, you know, left us hanging with it on that. Right. Okay. Uh, certainly, Andrea, a, a lot more uh, for the investigators out there to look into, and hopefully, uh, we'll get some more clarification as to what else is going on uh, right now. Thank you very much for joining us here uh, again. Uh, it's uh, almost midnight here on a Friday, but uh, clearly, a lot still going on out there, Andrea. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, folks, that's going to do it for us uh, for this Facebook Live. Again, uh, we're going to have more information on this uh, beginning tomorrow, uh, CBS 11 News, Saturday morning and at 11 o'clock uh, a.m. You can tune in for there uh, for more information. Also, our website, cbsdfw.com. We will update you with uh, any new details that we get. Thanks for joining us. This has been a special report from CBS 11 News.